Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss another important problem from Dirac Delta function. So here uh, we have to evaluate this integral in which we have minus infinity to infinity x raised to 4 delta of x square minus x minus 2 uh, dx, right? So let us start and let us call this integral as i, right? Now see here inside the Dirac delta function we have a quadratic uh, expression that is x square minus x minus 2. So let us take this quadratic uh, uh, polynomial as f of x, right? So we have f of x is equal to x square minus x minus 2 so that our integral now it reads as minus infinity to infinity x raised to 4 and delta of f of x uh, dx. So here uh, we'll make use of one important property of Dirac delta function and the property goes like this uh, delta of f of x is equal to uh, the summation i is equal to 1 to n and here we have delta of x minus xi uh, divided by the mod of f prime of x of i, right? So this is an important property of Dirac delta function. Uh, when we have uh, a function inside the Dirac delta notation other than a linear factor, right? So when we have a factor inside the uh, Dirac delta notation other than linear factor, then we uh, usually use uh, this uh, property of Dirac delta function. So here uh, these xi's are the roots of are the roots of the equation that is f of x is equal to zero, right? So these xi's are the roots of this equation f of x is equal to zero. So we have x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. We can uh, solve this quadratic equation by uh, splitting the middle term. So we have x square minus 2x plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have x x minus 2 plus 1 x minus 2 is equal to 0, right? So we can write x minus 2 x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have x minus 2 is equal to 0, x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 1, right? So this equation has two roots. So our x i's are uh, 2 and minus 1, right? So let us take x1 as uh, minus 1 and x2 as 2, right? So that uh, this uh, property can now be written as delta of f of x is equal to sigma and here we have uh, i runs from 1 to n. So here uh, we have only two roots. So n is 2, right? So we have i is equal to 1 to 2 and we have delta of x minus x i and uh, here we have the absolute value of f prime of x of i. So now taking i is equal to 1 we have delta of x minus x1. Uh, divided by mod of f prime of x1 uh, plus because here we have the sigma notation so we'll add and then uh, we'll take i is equal to 2 right so we have delta of x minus x2 and here we have the absolute value of f prime of x2 right so we have now uh, delta of f of x is equal to uh, this expression. So now since we have to uh, find the derivative of f of x, 
so the derivative of f of x that is f prime of x is the uh, d by dx of x square minus x minus 2 so this is 2x minus 1 the derivative of x square is 2x derivative of x is 1 and that the derivative of 2 is 0 being a constant function right so let us uh, find out uh, f prime of x1 right so f prime of x1 is 2x1 minus 1 right substituting uh, x is equal to x1 in this expression so x1 is minus 1 so we have f prime of uh, here we have a minus 1 so this is 2 times minus 1 minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3 right and similarly f prime of x2 is equal to 2 times x2 minus 1 so f prime of x2 is 2 so here we have 2 times 2 minus 1 so this is 4 minus 1 that is 3 right now we uh, want to find out the absolute value of f prime of x1 so the absolute value of f prime of x1 is given by mod of f prime of x1 so here we have the mod symbol so this is our mod of minus 3 that is equal to 3 right and similarly the absolute value of f prime of x2 is given by mod of f prime of x2 so here we have the mod notation and here uh, we have mod of 3 that is equal to 3 right so now delta of f of x can be uh, written as uh, delta of x minus x1 x1 is our minus 1 so here we have x uh, plus 1 right and uh, mod of f prime of x1 is uh, 3 and here we have delta of x minus x2 and we have x minus 2 and here we have f prime mod of f prime of x2 is 3 right so now we can write 1 over 3 we can take 1 over 3 common so we have delta of x plus 1 and then we have delta of x minus uh, 2 right okay so now we have uh, the value of delta of f of x is equal to uh, this expression so let us substitute this expression in this integral so now i is equal to uh, integral from minus infinity to infinity x raised to 4 and for delta of f of x we have 1 over 3 and here we have delta of x plus 1 and then uh, we have delta of x minus uh, 2 right and this is dx so now we can uh, write this integral i uh, as a sum of two integrals so the first one is 1 over 3 and then we have minus infinity to infinity x raised to 4 and we have delta of x plus 1 uh, dx and then we have 1 over 3 uh, minus infinity to infinity and we have x raised to 4 and delta of x minus 2 dx right so now we have to evaluate this integral and this integral right now here I uh, will make use of the definition of Dirac delta function so now the definition of Dirac delta function goes like this minus infinity to infinity and if we have here a function say g of x and delta of say x minus a dx uh, then uh, the value of this integral is equal to the value of this function at this point a right that is g of a so here we have in this case we have 
x plus 1 so if we take x plus 1 is equal to 0 so x is minus 1 and here a g of x is x raised to 4 right so the value of this integral is now equal to g of minus 1 uh, according to uh, this definition right and here we have delta of x minus 2 so x minus 2 is 0 so x is 2 so the value of uh, this integral is equal to a g of uh, 2 right because the function here x raised to 4 so we can take g of x is equal to x raised to uh, 4 so now we have 1 over 3 g of minus 1 is equal to uh, minus 1 raised to uh, 4 right because uh, g of minus 1 can be obtained by taking x is equal to minus 1 and here we have 1 over 3 g of 2 can be obtained by taking x is equal to 2 in this function so we have 2 raised to uh, 4 so now uh, we have 1 over 3 minus 1 raised to 4 is simply 1 and here we have 2 raised to 4 this is 16 so we have 1 over 3 plus 16 over 3 that is 1 plus 16 over 3 that is equal to 17 over 3 right so viewers the value of this integral i is equal to uh, 17 over 3 3. So this is how by making use of this property of Dirac delta function and the definition of this integral or this uh, Dirac delta function uh, we can evaluate uh, these kind of integrals.